What's up guys, Kicks or Dimes here from Kicks or Dimes TV. We got the new Kicking It with Kicks or Dimes segment I'm going to be doing on my channel. And I'm going to be chilling with my woe right here, B Rivers. I was running through the six with my woe. <laughs> he's a dumbass, but he's cool as hell. Alright, so what we're going to be doing in this show from now on, we're going to be doing shoe reviews, custom reviews, talking shit about other people because everybody likes that, right? Yeah. Alright, yeah, cool. And, uh... Whatever else you guys want us to do, we'll do it. Well, he'll do anything. I'm just chilling. Almost anything. Mostly anything. Mostly yeah. anything. <laughs> hey, chill. <laughs> we want to start off the show with some of Brian's customs, so you guys can see that this guy is multi-talented. He doesn't only uh, do uh, porn and stuff like that. So, uh, Brian, sh show, show him what you got, man. So, I got this Yeezy 5. Uh, I did this for my son. Uh, I also did a pair for myself, but, you know, had to have my son floss too, so I did this for him. Uh, the sole does glow in the dark, but it's really well lit in here, so you won't be able to see that. Uh, I got the custom easy patch on the tongue, along with the mini aglets. So this is a pretty sick shoe. I mean, it came out really nice. It also has a sole defender from Soul Defenders. Soul Defenders. Soul Defenders. Let, me, let me get one of those real quick. Pow! Soul Defenders! Make sure to cop this shit. My boy Eric, he knows all about it. He be hooking me up. It's really uh, legit. It has grip. You know, stays on. You know, pretty pretty firm. It's, it's not gonna come super off. Super good. Like like, there's other stuff that you could just slip on your ass, but this shit, you could be running from the cops in in the igloo in the snow. You know, in or the, from the hose. Antarctica. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? But with this, sticks on, protects the. I normally don't like to paint the bottoms of shoes, but sometimes the customers want it, so. You know, you got to do that. There is no such thing as a sealer that will seal the bottom of a shoe when you paint it. So you just got to make sure you're covered. You know, just like when you going out on a date, you got to make sure you have protection, right? I don't know. I feel wrong. Okay. Never mind. Brian, what else you got, man? I also got these Concord 11s uh, that I kind of blacked out that left the midsole white for one of my, one of my good friends. Uh, I've had this for like a year already. Me kind of lagging it. <laughs> they're kind of cool, man. I was looking at them, man. They're pretty, they're pretty damn basic for me, but you know they're cool, bro. I, I like this basic, <laughs> basic shit, bro. It's pretty tight, you know. I'm very straightforward. Yeah, you know it's very uh, straight. Nah, it is a very straightforward shoe. It's just blacked out the top, blacked out the sole. It is dyed, so it's not gonna come off when you walk. You don't need any protection, but did, if, did, if you do, did you make your own dye mix? I made my own dyes, my own dyes. His own dye mix, man. Do you believe that? He's a so, chemist over here, Heisenberg. Hell yeah. Man, I see you, bro. I sniff coke while doing this. So. Oh my god. Oh. Children, he's lying. He's kidding. Hell, I don't know. Now you see his nose? <laughs> it's a big nose, but he don't do that. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, yeah, he, he died the bottom of these soles, and uh, we will be having a video later on in the. Later on, uh, as time passes, we'll do like some tutorials for you guys and stuff. But this is really good. This is really good, you know. Uh, I like it. He made his own mix, and you know, we'll, yeah. we'll let you guys know how he did it. It's a very yeah. deep black. What else too. did you do to these, bro? That's it. Just blacked it out. Pretty simple, like I said. Okay. So you're saying anybody can do this? Any dumbass can do it. If we're doing it. There you go. I mean, speak for yourself, bro. But you know, that's, that's good stuff. Uh, what are we moving on to, bro? Okay. Uh, one of the customs that has blown up recently on my Instagram and Facebook is uh, these Simpsons 9s. You know, uh, uh, I'm pretty much known for my themes and custom work. And uh, on these, I wanted to display some of my many different, you know, skill sets. So I was able to actually draw on and I was airbrushed. What I did first is I airbrushed the background with the sky like in the Simpsons intro and then I was able to actually uh, draw on the Bart Simpson one of the most you know iconic cartoon characters of all time now did you, did you use stickers on these? bro I know did bro. you use stickers? bro I did not use stickers no check stickers. it out scratch no stickers no stickers bro no stickers hashtag and uh, you see I also wanted to do a donut midsole, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, Homer eats donuts, you eat donuts too, as, as people can see. Um, put the sprinkles on it, give it a little 3D effect with the white glare on it. Uh, yellow lace uh, laces to match Homer, and then I got the... Was that a fat joke? 
You got the Duff beer right here. You like beer, don't you, Brian? You got the Duff beer. I did all that hand painted, bro. No stickers. Okay. Uh, I like on the back on the back of these. I got the Simpsons Bart logo. It's pretty dope. You might want to show them the back while I talk about it. Mm. And then the bottom, I wanted to do uh, Bart Simpson skateboard uh, color, which is orange. He rides an orange skateboard. And his shirt's orange. And then the laces, of course, to match. So, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. When I got this order from one of my favorite customers, um, he gives me the most out there themes. And this was one that... I don't know if a lot of people would know what how to do a Simpson theme on this. Uh, Brian, what would you have done? Give it to you. Exactly. <laughs> Brian doesn't know how to do anything art, artistic at all. Nope. Um, so, uh, yeah, man, I was able to re recreate, you know, kind of the intro and everything onto these shoes. And uh, he's very happy about them and uh, actually leads on to the next, next pair. Well, uh, before he puts these away, I mean... I really appreciate these because I'm a huge Simpsons fan, like all BS aside. Um, I mean, I've been watching this from, since the Trace P. Allman show, so if you're a Simpsons fan, you know what I'm talking about, but this is really legit. It's really sick. I love the Simpsons, so good work. There you go. Words were from one of the dumbest people on the planet. And, uh, you know? Which planet? Uh, <laughs> planet Earth, bro. Okay, so check it out, guys. Oh, uh, whoops. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm the dumbest one. On to the next custom is the <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z What the Vegeta 9. And I'm going to start you off with this side right here. So, the customer gave me a pair of Kobe 9s. He said he wanted a, a Vegeta, a Vegeta shoe. And, uh, took me uh, maybe a couple hours to come up with a great, great concept for this because of the, the, the size of the shoe. You know, a lot of children out there, um, ignorant children uh we're talking Cheering. talking smack that uh it looked like he had a long nose but it's, it's called art and it's a, it's a concept you know i i didn't make it out to be a, a long nose kind of like brian's i mean you know he could be another kobe nine if he wanted to yeah, for, we could say for halloween big noses bro all right yeah so check it out um i decided to just do the whole skin shade on the shoe with uh vegeta's Scouter Vegeta's hair going up, and then he has the glasses now. If you ask me, am I a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z? No. Do I know enough to know about Dragon Ball Z? Yes, I do. How about you, Brian? I don't know a goddamn thing. He don't know nothing about Dragon Ball Z, but uh, then again, he didn't have a childhood when he was little. Yeah. I was hustling in the streets. There you go. Yeah. Selling crack. He, he was selling his body. I but, body at um, 10 years old. I decided on the midsole to uh, put his shields that he has on on his scouter suit also he has of course you know the lens and everything and then the these are the gumbo kobe bryant that glow so the bottoms do glow which is pretty awesome so that was this side and then uh brian over here he has the super saiyan you know left side of the shoe and of course pretty self-explanatory super saiyan so he has the super saiyan uh feel to the shoe the yellow hair going up to the top, Super Saiyan eyes, you know, and then of course his armor, which was pretty dope, you know, the, he, we got some rope laces on here, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome, dude, uh, I love doing this kind of work, you know, you could definitely check out my work online and on, on Instagram, Kicks or Damas. it will be um, down there below, and uh, also you will see it you will also see it on the screen and uh, I'll, you know what I'll be nice and I'll put this guy's Instagram so you can check his weak ass stuff out too and maybe you could you know give him a couple pointers uh, tell him what he should do what he shouldn't do um, you know I won't listen but, I, but whatever you want yeah do whatever you want bro you can tell him how ugly he is but I guarantee you you want to follow this ugly guy because he's funny as hell oh, how cute so uh, yeah definitely that I also want to do shout outs for the people that take care of me and that take care of Brian because he's like my adopted child. Shout so, out to my parents. Yeah, shout out to his parents too, you know. But, you know, I got... I'm older than you. I'm like 10 years older than you. <laughs> he is an old ass man, but he acts like a child. Sexy so, himself. shout out first to my boy, Drew, for hooking me up with this Mental Ambition sweater. It's pretty sick. What you think, Brian? I think it's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope. Yeah, it is. Definitely dope. Um, 
he hooked me up with a few things, a few shirts, hoodies, uh, sweaters. I didn't get you know, one. he didn't get nothing, but you know, may maybe in time, right? Whatever. Maybe in time you'll get over what, three hundred followers? Who knows? If he works hard enough, he, he can achieve anything. anything he wants. I don't want uh, Yo, Brian, I like this hoodie though, man. Some bum on the street gave it to me. Some bum yeah. on the street gave it to him. You know, it's, it's pretty, pretty RV, fresh. Nah. Uh, jokes aside, this is actually his brand. This is my brand, yes. Yeah. Rags to Riches. So Bam. be on the lookout for that. It's actually yeah, pretty Yeah, guys, sick. you know, it is a V, but it's upside down A. You know, just just so you don't get it. It's for the badge. Yeah, there you go. And uh, what about this uh, sick-ass hat? This is a pretty dope there, hat right here. A shout out to King of Sneakers for this hat. Check out her website. She got a lot of dope stuff, especially for people trying to customize. Uh, a lot of tutorials, uh, you know, paints, uh, laces, uh, aglets, anything you need, you can get it at her website. So check out kingofsneakers.com. Kingofsneakers.com. She got the tutorial videos holding down. When I first started customizing, believe it or not, two years ago, that's the first website that I saw. You know, I learned a few things, picked up a few things, and now me and her are really good friends. And it is a she. Yes, it way. is a girl. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody thinks Queen she's of a sneakers. Yeah. Uh, now that we're on the subject, Queen of Sneakers actually uh, hooked us up with these sick little jewelry box cases. Uh, I did. I played a pretty cool trick on my girl, and I I put this on the counter. You know, it was pretty cool. Uh, she thought it was jewelry. She thought I was gonna propose or something, but in reality, you know. Wasn't ready for that kind of commitment, so uh, I think she would have said no anyway. This packaging is pretty awesome, you know, pretty awesome packaging. Uh, you got the, you got a little, you got a little, looks like a little postcard kind of thing. It comes with, and it co tells you the different colors on the back, what it's gonna have. Then you have this awesome gold foil paper. It almost looks like uh, some very expensive toilet paper. Brian, I'm sure you will use this later for that very use. Uh, I use wipes, bro. Wipes. And when you un unfold these, you got some beautiful leather laces in here. Uh, these are some really dope silver laces. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. Who knows? You know, some lucky customers gonna get these on their kicks. But uh, awesome leather silver laces right here these are dope and uh, on his end he got some dope white ones and uh show him that sexy gold tip pretty awesome my tip what yeah <laughs> the tip is gold gold tips you know with the king of sneakers logo feeling super fresh pretty sick and the best part about these is it is this is leather so this is customizable you can do whatever you want with them you can paint them Dye them, deglaze them, de -glaze them, paint them, dye them, whatever you want, whatever you you know, it's just up to your imagination, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty so, awesome. So you you could uh, find them on her website, uh, kingofsneakers.com. And for the fraction of the price of the other guys, because they be raping with no lube. So yeah, I think man, it's a pretty decent the, price for. Other, but uh, it's definitely worth a shot, man. These are super <laughs> dope, super dope. Another shout out to King of Sneakers. King Kang. King Kang. Then uh, I got to give a huge shout out to my boy, Chris Moak, uh, amazing illustrator. Uh, he, he, he sent me these prints. These are some of my favorite ones right here. This is a, a LeBron 12, and then he did this crazy uh, lion print made out of the shoes with so many triangles and hexagons and all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, his prints are for sale, and me and him are going to be doing some future prints with my work. Uh, limited edition prints for you guys that you guys can purchase online. Uh, here's another one, and this is actually my favorite shoe of this year, is the Kyrie Irving basketball shoe. And he did a huge dinosaur with it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, definitely want to check him out. I'll have his Instagram and website in the description below. Uh, what do you have on your end, Brian? On this end, we have uh, a Yeezy 2, kind of mixed with a, with a Nike mag. It's very sick. Uh, I would love to see this shoe in person if it was ever These made. are actually pretty dope. I think Kickasso, uh, <laughs> he, he made, he made yeah, a pair I would love uh, to see that, but just this recently. Is, this is really pretty dope. Sick. I would like to see that, definitely. And then we do have a Nike mag here with uh, this is is a this? Bait? Bathing Ape. Yeah, this is a bait 
collab concept right here. This guy is amazingly talented with these illustrations, man. I uh, can't wait to collab with this guy. But, uh, yeah, man, these prints are available. They're not even expensive. Really high-quality prints. You can hang around. You can put it in your notebooks wherever you want, but it's pretty awesome. I think that's pretty badass. Uh, <coughs> shout out one time to Michael Jordan. You know, he doesn't pay me or anything. Uh, instead, he just takes our money. But I think he's a... Uh, he he set up the sneaker culture pretty big, man, for some some big things, you know. Yeah. So uh, happy birthday to him. Happy birthday, Michael Jordan. Whatever. He'll yeah. pay my bills. But I still gotta give more props to my boy on the right, right here, Kobe Bryant, because you know he's a warrior. End of the day. Um, he should retire. He should retire, but you know, he ain't. You know, the money's too good. I'm just a hater. Yeah, he, he's a hater. So, before you guys go, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing some more videos, a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more stupid, a little bit more crazy, uh, whatever. Uh, with this guy right here, I'm going to have special guest appearances from other customizers, other very um, acclimated and uh, very well-known people in the sneaker culture. Kanye. And, Kanye's going to come through? Yeah, he's... He's not going to come through. Kanye's definitely not coming through. I'm sorry, Brian. You got no pull, though. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. You know, I, I, the dude hit me up. I missed his call. Didn't want to work with me no more. But it's cool, you know? Uh, shout out to everybody that got the Yeezy Boost. They look like the fucking best homeless bum shoe I've ever seen in my life. Bro. I got two pairs. You got two pairs? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely it's cold into the freeway, bro. legit, bro. We got a pair for our buddy Liam, Waffle Custom Kicks, because... With those shoes, it, it'll it take him over the edge looking like a bum. He said he's going to wear Daisy Dukes. He wanted me to, you can check my Instagram, he said it himself, bleach his butthole and make it glow in the dark. So when he wears his Daisy Duke shorts, it could glow and illuminate the Yeezy. So if we get a thousand likes, Liam custom, Waffle Custom Waffle Kicks cus Shout will out to bleach, his butthole, bleach his butthole. And no, no, I'll bleach his butthole. No, he's gonna bleach his butthole. <laughs> and what else did he say he's gonna do? Make, I'm making glow in the dark. <laughs> glow in the dark. So let's get those thousand likes so that those two homos can, can uh, bleach each other's buttholes and get it going. Uh, uh, coming up soon, uh, I know, shout out to Kelsey, uh, Kelsh Me Amy, uh, customizer, huge talent, and she's going to be on Ninja Warrior, bro. That's pretty sick. That is crazy. That is crazy. She's going to be on Ninja Warrior. Uh, and she'll be on one of these upcoming episodes too, you know? So either it's going to be us three or I'm going to kick him out and she's going to be on the show. Who knows, you know? Only because she's hot. Whatever. Do you bring free stuff? Maybe. Maybe. She's going to have gear and everything. So yeah. let's get it going. She's all about the bleached buttholes. Oh, God. All right. So, yeah, man. Make sure to subscribe. Like the video. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Tell us whatever you guys think and uh, tell us what you would like to see on the next episode. Uh, see you guys later. Shouldn't he grow his mustache? <laughs> <laughs> whatever, bitch. <laughs>